Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Do some gay shit, right? So who knows? Who knows? But this is the first time in court, in a, or at least in a lawsuit, we're seeing very clear accusations to Diddy either encouraging, requesting, wanting, or fetishizing over some homosexual activity, okay? Now, okay, great. Um, So, yeah, let us uh, let me see what's going on here. Mr. Jones was in Mr. Como's house located in Miami. Uh, he was intoxicated. <laughs> Yo, chat, I did not say, I did not say it was Meek. Y'all niggas is tweaking. Somebody said, scroll back, it said Meek name. It did not say Meek Mill's name. He did not, it, it did not say Meek Mill name. Wait. Oh, oh, hold up. Never mind. Wait, what the fuck? I forgot. Look, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper five. That's redacted. Look, five. He's a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Yo, Meek. We were playing around with that Michael Rubin shit. But if you don't, you've been tweeting about, every, nigga, you've been tweeting about everything on planet Earth. If you don't get a Twitter rant saying you about to get Lil Rod killed, you about to shoot up his block, blow his mama's house up. This nigga is saying that you and Diddy were fornicating. What the fuck? Me? Like, I can't even imagine such debauchery and such fuckery happening to a gangster rapper like Meek. Imagine after a freak off session with allegedly Meek and motherfucking Diddy, and now Diddy's over here braiding motherfucking uh, Meek's hair. Like, come on, bro. No. He's a Philly rapper who did not. Nah, no way. Nah, it's no way, bro. Bro, it's no way. It's no way, dog. Yo, we need AJ in the building. AJ, where, where are you at? AJ, where are you at? We need you instantly. Get in the court. Why are they saying, maybe there's another Philadelphia rapper that dated motherfucking Nicki Minaj. Is there? Here's the crazy part. Why the fuck redact his name then describe the hell out of him? Right? Why redact his name? And describe that nigga to a T. <laughs> and then <laughs> look, 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 look. Nah, this shit is jokes. Rapper five redacted, but they tell you exactly who he is. Oh yeah, he's a Philly rapper who nigga, this is like Jeopardy. <laughs> he's a Philly rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Beep. <laughs> who is Meek Mill? Like, come on, bro. Like, what the fuck? And then the next person, RB Singer Six, redacted. Look. He performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Usher! No fucking way. No Usher got a song to my. I need a girl. That can, uh, 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 I need a. I never know. He meant to say, I need a boy. What the fuck? Usher not gay. Usher gay? Yo, what's going on out here? I ain't gonna lie. This nigga Usher must have got hit with the triple whammy, nigga, or the double whammy. This nigga got herpes and he gay. Holy shit. God damn it. This nigga can't catch a break. <laughs> it's like God said, we got to put this nigga in the Super Bowl or something. <laughs> this, nigga been this nigga been down bad for a minute. What the hell? Holy shit. Yo, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. I'm just checking out academics, man. Man, Meek Mill seemed like he done got a little bit upset about the conversation, man, and what, what was done. I thought they had truced. I thought they had made a truce with one another to say that there would not be ever, you know, they wasn't going to, you know, they kind of said we wasn't going to do this, you know. But look like academics is out. He back. He jumping out. The, he jumping out the gym with this one. So I just don't really know, like, like DJ Academics, Meek Mills, 
I think McMill said something about pulling up to the boy house or pulling up to where the boy be at. Allegedly, all this is going on. Listen to me and hear me good when, when I say it's crazy how when you think about the way social media is, everybody start getting into it. The views start going up. You know, Diddy, the Diddy allegations is going crazy, man. You know, um, I don't know what's going on. I mean, listen, man, we we went viral. It, it went viral. The subject went viral when Meek Mills, uh, this guy comes out with all this information, alleging that or, or saying that Diddy, you know, did these different things to him, man. But DJ Academics is a big influence. When he say something, you know, the whole world start listening. Uh, and it's crazy that. Meek Mills, you know, he a rapper. Meek Mills, Meek Mills is something else, you know. He, you know, he, East Coast. But I don't know, man. I just be thinking about how these dudes get caught up in these views and trying to figure out ways to keep their name from being defamed. But in order to do that, you got to keep a clean slate. I'm just trying to figure it out. Boss Talk 101, you know, we come in this game, we trying to keep a clean slate. You know, the team tight, but hey, we looking at this stuff, reporting on this stuff too. Uh, I don't want nobody getting mad at me because of what you've done or what your history unfolds. But we're going to be out here, uh, you know, we're going we gonna to talk about it if it's in the media, guys. And But academics is real good at it. I don't know. Guys, make sure you get in the comments. Tell me, do you agree with academics speaking on this subject or should he have left this alone? You got to make sure that at the end of the day, we stay focused enough to understand what's real and what's fake. So, God, let us know, man. Make sure you like, subscribe uh, to Boss Talk 101. Give me your insight. What's your intel on this? Do you agree with academics or do you agree with Meek Mills? I'm trying to figure this out because, hey, listen, man, we got to do what we got to do to, uh, uh, you know, apply pressure when it comes to press. We press and impress. Let us know, man. Uh, make sure you follow Boss Talk 101 and get a membership, too. But, yeah. I'm just trying to figure this all out. Hey, I'm not judging nobody. If you want to be over there on that side or if you're on this side, I'm not in it. You know, I'm happily married to a woman. I'm, you know, Miss Jamaica. So I don't know what you guys are doing when the lights go off. No one knows where the doors close when the clothes come out in the back of the doors. So I don't know. But at the end of the day, guys, it's everything. You know what's done in the dark, them old folks would say, it's going to come to the light. So I'm telling you right now, if you've done something, come clean because it'll come out on you. So, hey, DJ Academics, now you were just a few, just a little bit ago, you know, Saucy Santana had you running up on some stuff now. So, you know, you can't just be running around here now. Uh, th th this stuff is crazy, man. This internet will roll back on you. You my boy and you hang with my guy. So I like you. But, you know, hey. Meek Mills ain't never did me no wrong either. I be, you know, I go up to Philly sometimes. So, but hey, man, guys, I, I'm not in it. I just say, hey, I'm just reporting what, what I see on here because people ask me to speak on it. I wasn't going to say nothing. But I'm going to go on and just be real with you, man, guys. Or they say your skirt tail showing when something like this go on. Like, pull your skirt up. All that old talk. That's how they talk to old folks. So what I'm saying is don't let your business fall out in the street. Sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. Check it, man. This Boss Talk 101 just giving you a little bit of uh, sauce on the Meek Mills academics, DJ academics uh, situation, man. Make sure you got to like, subscribe, Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.